Welcome to Story Smart Creative Social Media, where we show you how you can take full advantage of communication technology and social media to share your story and build your brand. Believe it or not, thanks to technology and the digital revolution, everyone has the potential to be their own media outlet and to share their own story. You can build your brand today by sharing your story directly with anyone, anywhere in the world. Word of mouth advertising has gone global thanks to the internet and social media, and we're here to help you figure out this brave new world and hopefully inspire you to be creative and get out there and share your story and build your brand. So let's get started today. When I think about developing an effective communication strategy or a marketing strategy in today's world, I can't help but think about how dynamic a time period we're living in today and how that contrasts with the world that I grew up in. We live in extraordinary times where change is happening so rapidly, reinventing the world we live in and literally reinventing the language that we use. It wasn't that long ago that you wouldn't have wanted to be referred to as a, as a goat. If someone said you were a goat, well, you were the laughing stock, the butt of jokes. You typified ineffective. But now, thanks to social media and Twitter in particular, being called a goat is a compliment. Just like SMART in Story Smart, GOAT is an acronym that means greatest of all time. When I've been asked to lecture about communications or speak to communication professionals, I routinely show a series of PowerPoint slides that illustrate the dynamic world we live in today and how that should influence all of us as communication professionals. One of the most effective slides that I share is one that shows me as a little boy and my son Charlie. I use it to demonstrate how much the world has changed in my lifetime. The world I grew up in as a little boy has changed a lot. As a communication professional, a small business owner, a consultant, it's important for me to keep in mind that I need to make strategy decisions based not on the world I grew up in, but in Charlie Waterman's world. Um, not the world from the late 1960s. I've got to be thinking about Charlie Waterman in whatever I do in terms of designing my strategies. You see, I was born in 1967 while my son was born in 2010. I've decided to do something quite a bit different with today's video that I hope that you really enjoy. It's likely ill-conceived, um, but I'm all about taking risk um, and trying new things. So I've asked my nine-year-old, Charlie, to sit down with me to talk about how different the world is today, the one that he's growing up in, and contrasting that with the world that I grew up in. It hopefully will be fun and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Let's take a look. All right, I have my son Charlie Waterman joining us. Oh, boys. What's up, man? Oh, yeah, Thanks it's good. for joining. It's good. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> this ought to be fun. You know what we're talking about? Yeah, I, I, you've been making me prep for this like for like about yeah, a week. Yeah, exactly. Now. You know, we've, uh, you know, yeah, like, kids like, nine years old, so we've. Been oh, yeah. Eight, that's eight a nice plus. picture of me. Yeah, that's, that's you when you were four. This is an old PowerPoint slide. So I, I, I mentioned that I mentioned uh, it, it, good. I mentioned in the intro that um, you know we live in very dynamic uh, times. You know things are changing very rapidly. Yeah, yes, yes, yeah. Very much. Um, communication is changing very rapidly. Uh, Technology is changing very rapidly. Um, it, it empowers you to do all kinds of really cool things, right? Like, when, like when play Fortnite. Big, well, well, yeah, like, <laughs> well, of course, like play Fortnite, like uh, watch YouTube <laughs> videos, uh, right? Uh, well, I actually gave you a bunch of views today. Okay, thanks. I appreciate that. Uh, and I subscribed. Oh, good, good. Oh, that's good. You know, what a way to brown nose. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, as I was uh, mentioning, um, these are dynamic times. Now, the world that I grew up in, you know, it was... You went outside and played. Yeah, I went outside and played, exactly. I sometimes. Yeah, I know. You need to go outside more. But um, but the point of this is is to talk about how the world that I grew up in is different than the world that you're growing up in. <laughs> and when communication professionals are out there trying to figure out how to communicate, they should be thinking about the world that, that you're in right now growing up. Uh, because, you know, frankly, it's the world I'm in, too. We're all here, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're all here, dude. Yeah, you know, despite uh, Einstein's theory of relativity. Uh, anyway, um, so I wanted to just kind of go through a couple of things real quick. And Show we'll talk about, yeah, well, no, not so much the picture, but, like, when I was growing up, I mean, what is what is Amazon to you? A place where you can search the web, you can watch TV, and it was a forest for you. 
Uh, no, like when I was growing up, but yeah, it was uh, it was it, it was it was a rainforest and it was a river with piranhas. So yeah, for you, Amazon is a streaming um, video service, like where you can watch videos, right? Uh, and uh, you, you you buy a lot of stuff, right? And, yeah. and like a lot of boxes end up on our front porch from from Amazon. From you, actually, you yeah. got one today. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I did. Yeah. Didn't you pull in like a thing with a bunch of? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway. Um, <laughs> so Apple. Like when I was grow up, growing up, Apple was a fruit. So what is Apple to you today? Um, phones. Actually, your computer right there is an Apple. Yeah. Uh, my. Uh, me and mom's computer downstairs, my, your phone, phones, technology you, I was going to say, what'd you get for your ninth birthday? Uh, uh, iPod. An iPod. Apple iPod. An Apple, Apple iPod. iPod. Yeah, exactly. So, um, you know, when I was growing up, baseball was on, on the radio, and, and for you, baseball's on TV, or you can watch yeah. it on your phone, right? Yeah, and you can, like, listen in your, in your car and stuff. Yeah. Well, kind of like the radio, basically. So, and like, when I was growing up, a camera was an Instamatic. Um, and for you... Oh, yeah, because remember when I went to that shop when we shot our... Yeah, a couple yeah of well, videos, they, they looked, 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 like, it looked like these kind of cameras, right? Like uh, this, yeah. this, this no, Canon camera. Yeah, but it was like wooden. It was like... Well, yeah, yeah, wooden, yeah. Kid, that yeah when camera. I was a kid, they put the big plates in. We all had to hold real still. Couldn't <laughs> you, smile. Because <laughs> your teeth were so bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, no, no, come on, we're not British. Uh, anyway... Uh, <laughs> No, no. <laughs> My point being is that cameras were their own things. They weren't just, you know, a cell phone. Don't play with your microphone. Uh, this is going to screw this whole thing up. It fell off. Uh, <laughs> it fell off. Uh -huh. I totally okay, well, wasn't We like totally it. don't need it, probably. We can just get away with the shotgun mic, but uh, nonetheless. Um, so anyway, this 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 was a very ill-conceived thing. Look at you. On this, uh, on this thing. <laughs> Look at you, and then you're baseball. Yeah. So no. So so I was going through my list here. So so when I was a kid, um, I had a movie camera, and it was a um, it was a Super Eight take camera. Take pictures. Take move a slight. Take a picture. Slide yeah. Oh yeah. Picture. I used to do stop motion animation, um, but you but there was no sound. Um, yeah. So uh, for it's like you, you guys can hear us right your now. iPod, your iPod can shoot video, right? Yeah. And you can I've take already photos. shot like a bunch of photos with Patrick and stuff. Oh, okay. Well, see exactly. So, so that's it, that's one of the big differences. Hey, look, that is new. Yeah, you and um, when when I was a kid, um, what what's Hulu to you? Hulu? Actually, I'm like a. I, I don't even know. I not I not <laughs> I don't go on Hulu that often, but I think it's like a TV station or whatever. Yep, it's a TV station. Same exactly. With Hulu. Like yeah, when I was growing up, Hulus were well, like Hulu hoops. Um, it was oh yeah, Hulu Hulu. Hula. Hula hoop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And see, you know, when I was growing up, uh, you know that, you know, my, my, you know, for you, when I say Mac, what do you think of? Uh, the computer. The computer. Yeah, man. When I was growing up, Mac. Mac was and a, cheese. Yeah. Well, well, <laughs> Mac and cheese. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. When I was growing up, well, Mac and cheese. We had Mac and cheese. Uh, we had but Mac I, and cheese. I, when I, when you said Mac, I would think like Mac truck. But anyway, uh, phones. When I was growing up, phones were on a cord. Shoot, it's like you could so like, like you could only if a go. If phone was right there, you would have to be like right there. Yeah, you 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 couldn't go into the other room, and like it wasn't very private. Um, <laughs> and then I remember, I guess it was a been like by the time I was uh, late high school, maybe college, that they had cell cordless. Phone. No, they were cordless phones before <laughs> cell phones. There were phones that were like on an antenna, and you could like walk around from room to room, and it was pretty darn cool. Um, then. Yeah. Well, yeah. Now we, you know, the only phones we have, we don't even have like a, a home phone, right? We just use our cell phones. Yeah. Now, I stream. What does stream mean to you? Like stream a baseball game or something. Yeah. Like football I mean, or soccer. Yeah. Exactly. Stream a game on your phone. Yeah. So stream. Stream is a is a verb to you, and and for me, stream was a noun. It was just a stream was a thing that carried water. It was like, uh, oh, well, yeah, yeah. Like stream would river, be like next to a river, stream. exactly, exactly. I guess I could have said that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, said yeah that. and, and when, if I say windows, what do you think of? That. Okay, you think of those things too, okay, I was going to say, <laughs> that shows you, oh, yeah. you know, like on a window on your phone, if you close an app, you can like double tap on the home and then you Bingo. Swipe yeah, exactly, it's yeah. An, and it's like, it, it's an operating system for, uh, for PCs, PCs use uh, windows. Uh, it's kind of an antiquated system, but uh, it's a, it's one. That, it's one that made Bill Gates a whole bunch of money, a whole bunch. 
Um, but when I was a kid, windows were like, yeah, like those things there. That you then clean. invent that. Yeah, you cleaned them with uh, vinegar and water or whatever. <laughs> so anyway, so 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 how is the world different uh, for you? What you when when it comes to communicating, like you have friends come over and and, and you goof around. Texting. Texting. Yeah. Okay. I got text for Yeah, you're right. I I couldn't text when I was a kid. Uh, um, thank, thank heavens. Talking. Uh, <laughs> talking. Well, we could talk when we were kids. <laughs> <laughs> um. YouTube. Like what? Body. Do you, what? You your what? body. Huh? You can communicate with your body, like what you do. True. True. Body language. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we did that back Face then. Face language, like rolling your eyes. Yeah, yeah, but you know, I'm really kind of thinking about like all the all the ways in which, you know, like like I, I mentioned earlier uh, to, to folks that goat, like when I was uh, growing up, goat was I a bad thing. I am the goat. You are the goat. Yeah, what the is greatest goat? Of all, the greatest of all time. Yeah, see, see, he knows that. For him, that's what goat is. But you know, like if you would have said to me, you're a goat, I would have been like, what? Uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Cause it was a bad thing. It was seriously, it was like a bad thing. But now, but now, bah. it's an acronym. Bah. Bah. You're bad. You're a goat. Bad. You're a goat. Yeah. I'm anyway. a goat. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. What else? I don't know. You're you're so so you 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 watch uh, what, like when you. When you get home and instead of watching TV, you don't really watch. Like when I was a kid, you just look at it. So when I was a kid, you would watch TV and it would only have a handful of channels. Um, and we had these things. And you couldn't called, choose; it would just be on. Yeah, well, and we had these things called rabbit ears um, that, like, were where there were antennas, and and sometimes you could get the TV signal okay, and sometimes you couldn't. Um, and it wasn't until I was like, I don't know, late in high school that we got cable. And I just thought it was the neatest thing in the world because there was all these different channels. And now, now it's you just, just like stream. a boring old thing. Like yeah. now, most of the time, what do you watch? What, what, what do you watch? YouTube. What else? Netflix. Yeah. Voodoo. Pixels on Voodoo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Streaming. You just stream. You know, over-the-air broadcast is like something that, hey, you know, you probably don't even know what the heck that is, do you? Broadcast? Hey, what are you doing? Don't be playing <laughs> with the microphone. Keep you can't do, you, if you play with the microphone, uh, the, <laughs> we won't be able to use it. All right, this is, this is, this is, a, yeah. this is a good lesson for Dad. Uh, no clip-on microphones for Charlie. Sticking with the, uh, you know, the, the shotgun. Boom, the shot shaboom. Yeah, shaboom, the old the boom mic. Um, well, thank you for joining me today. Hope you had fun. Did you learn anything? No. <laughs> no. Why well, should today be? I wasn't different? really paying attention. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> All right. I wasn't right. paying attention. Uh, you, 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 you like it better when you're you're doing the old act. Hey, hey, enough of that. Sorry. Oh, that's nasty. That's nasty. That's 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 one thing that's timeless. It goes back to the cavemen. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll be in outer space. He'll be opening the pod bay door to let that out. <laughs> right? It was supposed to come out my yeah. mouth. Flatulence. It came out the wrong end. It was supposed to come out here and yeah. it went out your okay. bay. All right. Well, on that note, we say uh, <laughs> thank you for joining us, right? Uh, and, uh, you know, the, the point in this whole exercise, <laughs> the whole point in this exercise was to, to, to convey that the world is a different place today uh, than it was when you were growing up. And if you're a business owner uh, and you're trying to market your business and you're trying to use the thinking that made sense, you know, 20, 30 years ago, um, you know, it's you need to refresh it. You know, I mean, you know, candidly, Call we're, me. in, we're in the digital economy and uh, that Take means you have to have a, a rocking website that, that uh, makes the case for your brand, um, helps you sell your product um, and, I got, I got and you can communicate directly with your customers and if you're not currently doing that then um, you need to really rethink things. Start a YouTube channel. You got a lot of Start a YouTube channel. Comment, I need help. Yeah, oh yeah, and then you know. What, what do you need say? help with? And then they'll yeah. tell you what you yeah. need help with, especially us young guys out here. Yeah, I mean just think about YouTube. Uh, it's, 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 it's an incredible thought to me that they're, that I, I believe it's something like 75 to 80 percent of the content on the internet today is video. Instagram. Well, there's Instagram, there's Twitter, there's Facebook, there's TikTok. all that stuff. Yeah, TikTok. I, 
Yeah, I've heard of it. Uh, I know that you want it, uh, which is usually a sign that, you know, you can't have it. No, yeah, no, you're too young for any of that stuff. So anyway, uh, well, thank you. I appreciate you uh, joining me on this. Uh, I hope you have fun. And um, yeah, stay story smart. All right, stay story smart. Okay, what did you think? I think Charlie was great. He's a natural on camera, isn't he? A nice contrast with his dad. While it wasn't exactly what I had in mind when I asked him to sit down with me, I think he helped a whole lot. He helped me make the case to you that when it comes to developing your communication strategy, you need to realize that we are in a brave new world. We need to be thinking about how people consume media and how they connect with one another when we're devising our approach to reaching them through either marketing or communications. The focus is on Charlie's world. That's the lesson for today. Focus on Charlie's world. As the world changes, we have to adapt. Despite the changes, the basics remain the same. It's all about connecting with people. To do that, you need to focus on story and you need to be story smart. I started this channel to share my passion and insights into the world of communications. It empowers you to connect, sell, and communicate in ways that were simply science fiction when I was growing up. With a little imagination and creativity, you can do anything. As much as things have changed, the fundamentals remain pretty much the same. People are people, and we all learn and connect the same way, through story. That's why we're here to help you get story smart. I want to share my passion for communications and the insights I've gained over the last few decades helping people navigate this brave new world. Word of mouth advertising has gone global thanks to the internet and social media. Today the world functions like a small town where your customers are your best salespeople. You can build your brand by mastering the art of digital storytelling. You can do it all yourself. It's easy if you're creative and you're smart about it. We're here to have fun, share insights and lessons learned, all in an effort to raise your digital IQ, one video at a time. Hopefully we will inspire you to be creative and get out there and share your story and build your brand. Until next time, stay story smart.